Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven Gaming Labs, and welcome back to another Left 4 Dead 2 tutorial. It's been a while, but in this tutorial, we are going to make an elevator that goes up to the top, and then an elevator that you can bring back down to the bottom. So, what do we need to do in order to do this? Well, first, let's actually make the elevator itself. So, uh, let's see, we need some kind of texture that's different. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to use this crate elevator uh, or uh, the crate texture here for the elevator. Let's see here. Yeah, I'll just, you know, let's just put it in the corner. Yeah. 128 by 128. And let's drag it down and then only make it 16 tall. And then we'll hit enter. Perfect. So now we have, you know, something different to help differentiate between, well, the blandness of everything else. And then we'll select our brush and we'll hit control T and we want to turn this into a funk underscore elevator. Actually, let's just type elevator. There we go. Much easier. Awesome. And now we're going to do is we're going to select the name here and I'm going to type elevator one. Okay. Or if I'll learn how to spell correctly. Now, one thing that's, you know, very important here is if you're, you know, the name has to be unique, obviously, for each elevator in order to reference it. So do keep that in mind. And now what we need to do is we need to change the top floor position. Now, you see this little uh, blue sphere or bluish sphere? Uh, we can actually raise it up. So I'll just do 32, for example. And you can see it gets raised up, you know, quite a ways above there. And I can set it to 64. And now we can like really see it. So let's see here. Uh, let's just raise it up to, I guess, about here. That should do it. And this is the top position of our elevator. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make some, you know, some, uh, some guardrails for our elevator. And I think I'm going to go down to size eight here and I'm just going to raise it up maybe 48, not, not super tall or anything like that. And I'm just going to go back over to the other side here. Ah, there we go. And now I'm just going to draw another one there. Perfect. And there we go. Now we have some simple, basic, everyday rails. And we'll select them, and we'll hit Control T. And we want these to turn into a funk brush. We'll hit Apply. And then for the parent, we're going to click here, and we're going to set it to Elevator. Awesome. Okay. Now we actually need a way to go up and down. So I'm going to go back into the Browse here. I'm going to select, uh, select this texture. And I'm also going to make sure that the grid size is back to 16. And I'm just going to let's make that a little taller, shall we? And let's move it. Nah, you know what? This is fine. OK. And now I'm going to hit Control T and it's going to be a button. And we'll hit apply and we'll change the name to button one and now what we'll do is we'll go up here and let's see we need to oops all right let's make sure we're back in uh shift b there oh good i like when it's you know the full size of the wall there it's always handy and we'll just, let's see, let's make sure it's the same height. I want it to be somewhat the same height after all. That should be fine. Okay. And we'll hit enter. Awesome. And then we'll do the same thing. And then we will change this to button. And we will hit apply. And we'll change the name to button two. And now we're going to go into the flags here and we're going to check don't move. And then. Go back to the other button. Also check don't move. And we're getting there. <laughs> okay. 
So we do need a logic relay. So I'm going to go ahead and place two logic relays down here. And I'm actually going to select them and then move them so they're, you know, properly kind of on the grid a little bit there. Okay, we'll just leave those as is for right now. And now we need to type in elevator because we need an info elevator floor. And we're going to need two of these. Now, the first one we're going to put down here. We're going to hit enter and then alt enter to open up this menu here. And we're going to put in, I'm going to call it elevator one underscore bottom. That way we know what it is and what it does. Uh, you know, because you definitely want to make sure, you know, you, you could name it just bottom, for example. But, you know, it helps to have some form of descriptors when you hit the drop down and you see, well, all of this. Okay. And now what we need to do is I'm going to hit this here. All right. So it's about right. Okay. That was very wrong. Ah, it's shifty. I hit control E for some reason. And we'll put it right there. And then we'll hit alt enter. And same thing. We'll change it from elevator bottom to top. And then we'll hit OK. Awesome. OK. So now what we need to do is, and we can start with any of these, you know, buttons here. Uh, let's see. We actually should change the name of this. So elevator one underscore uh i mean we can call this basically anything uh i'm gonna call it control top the name is perfectly fine and we're gonna go back to button one actually and we're gonna go to output and then we're gonna add a new one and then on pressed we will send it to elevator one control top and it is a trigger and we will hit apply and then we'll go to our first one and you'll see that we actually have an input now and what we'll do is we'll add and we'll say on trigger um elevator one and let's see targeted entities ah sorry we'll elevator top hang on I need to check my notes. Right. I know where I messed up. So elevator one and then uh, move to floor. And then with a parameter override, we'll just call this elevator one underscore because, you know, that is the elevator. Uh, you know, it's up here. We'll go to class info. It's called elevator one underscore top. And we just want to change our output to, okay. Can't paste. And we'll just hit apply. Okay, so now what we need to do is we just basically need to do the same thing. So we'll go here. We'll hit add. We'll say on pressed. Um, ah. We should probably name this entity here. So we'll do elevator one control and we'll just change it to bottom. And we'll hit apply. And we'll go back to here and we'll go back to our little output there. We'll say control bottom and we'll say trigger. We'll hit apply. And you can use, you know, the other, you know, logic relay, you know, as a nice little uh, reference guide. So we're going to add it. And we're going to say on trigger, um, elevator one, move to floor. And then we're going to say elevator one underscore bottom. And we'll hit apply. And I believe that that is what this elevator is. Yep. Okay. So the other thing that I want to point out now that we've done that is we can go up here and we can actually change, it, sorry, this is inside of our funk elevator and we can actually change, you know, our speed. So in this case, I'm gonna set it to 33 and the acceleration to 33. So it'll be pretty slow. 
well, relatively speaking here. And now we're just going to run the map and we'll wait a second and wait another second and maybe another. Left 4 Dead 2 is not uh, the fastest loading, even on this machine. I mean, it has a Gen 4 NVMe drive and well, Left 4 Dead takes as long as Left 4 Dead takes. That's the rules. You can't argue with the rules. Well, I guess you can, but it just doesn't matter. Guns here. Okay, so we'll head on outside. And we'll go over here. And provided that I made no mistakes whatsoever in that entire blind setup there, we'll just... There we go. And up we go. Really, really slow. Okay. So, we do have to adjust ever so slightly upwards uh, for this, but that's a minor cosmetic issue as far as I'm concerned. And now we can go down. And we're on the ground. And look at that. You have an elevator. Isn't that awesome? I mean, it was like so easy to do. But let's go on ahead and fix the top part really quick. And let's... Uh, this is actually like really easy to fix. So we'll just select that. And then we'll just go, let's say... Uh, there we go. Just going to move it up ever so slightly. I think that that's far enough. I could be wrong. We'll save it. If we if we have to, you know, we, we can, you know, adjust it later. But going up in a small increment is not really uh, too bad. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Oh dear. Okay. I'm gonna actually see. Go! Oh, we did not go up far enough. We didn't go up far enough. But, uh... You know. This is the fun part. And as I tell everyone that, you know, comes and... Uh, you know, ask me for advice on map making and all this sort of stuff. You know, this is the kind of thing that I always say, you know, sometimes you just got to play with it. Sometimes you just have to, like, adjust things. You know, you can't always line things up flawlessly and all that good stuff. Sometimes you just got to, well, roll with it and do your best and try to line it up appropriately, even though it just keeps refusing to do so. In a very annoying way, by the way, I might add. I do like the fact, though, that I can actually get up the ladder and over to it. You know, like, before it even, you know, goes. Oh, I love that. I made it. <laughs> yeah, it does take off pretty slow. Okay, perfect. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Nice and aligned properly. Bad button. And the nice thing is, it's like, you could attach the buttons. Now, uh, in order to attach these, obviously you saw that I used a funk brush. You don't want to make it an elevator because it's it's not an elevator. Also, it doesn't have collision. So, because, you know, it's a, it's a funk brush. You could use other uh, types as well, but uh, that works. You could also, uh, you know, have an actual mesh there and then tie the mesh to the parent. Pretty much whatever you wish to do. Um... But that's that, and it really is and truly is that simple. So, if you guys like this tutorial and you want to support the channel, um, you know, drop a comment down below, leave a like, hit that subscribe button and that bell, you know, so you actually get the notification that I've, you know, uploaded a new video. And then, uh, if you would like to, you know, help the channel grow and stuff, you know, share it around with your friends, family, basically anyone, just spam it everywhere. And uh, if you'd like to get early access to videos and all that good stuff, um, you can either join Patreon or you can uh, become a YouTube member. Your support's greatly appreciated and helps the channel out. And I will see you all in the next one. Y'all have a good one. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching Raven Gaming Labs. 
Thanks to all the members and viewers who make RGL possible. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified. If you want to become a member, hit the join button or link in the description below. Members get early access to videos, member exclusive content, and more. As well, don't forget to join our awesome community over at Discord. Y'all have a good one.